Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, full moon reading uh, that's occurring in Cancer on uh, January 17th. Um, so we're going to take a look at what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect regarding this full moon. Uh, you can apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that this is nothing specific. This could be anything. Uh, so we're just going to see what the cards pick up. Um, also, uh, keep in mind that this is just a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, so uh, let's get started, you guys. We're going to pull some Oracle. Um, I'm also going to use um, this Ruins Oracle. This is the first time I'm using it, so we'll see what happens, all right? So we'll start with the or Oracle first, and then we'll get into the Tarot. What messages do we have for Aries regarding this full moon in Cancer occurring on January 17th, 2022? What does, can, uh, what does Aries need to know? What can uh, Aries expect regarding this full moon? Attend to the details last quarter in uh, Virgo, all right? Someone here has Virgo in her chart. Could be dealing with someone that has Virgo past or present or future that's surrounding you. Bottom of the deck, new moon in Leo. Shine. Let's grab a card from the ruins deck. Nope, that's too many. Wunju, joy, comfort, pleasure, fellowship, harmony, prosperity, ecstasy, glory, spiritual reward, but also the possibility of going over the top. Okay, so I feel like maybe you could be moving too fast, moving too fast, it, just in life in general, perhaps in your money, in your finances, fehu, possessions won or earned, earned income, luck, abundance, financial strength in the present or near future. So I feel like in order for you to succeed in your career, in your money, in your finances, I think the most important thing to do is to attend to the details and don't miss anything. So Aries, you could be moving a bit too fast. So I feel like whatever is going on here, there is success. There is uh, success and victory surrounding your career and your money, okay? Um, I do feel like for a lot of you guys, life is going pretty well. Uh, I feel like you're pretty happy with where you're at, uh, but I feel like there's this energy of it being that it could be better. Demanding when you displayed you when displayed you are most likely making the other person feel inferior. Check your anxiety and your depression here. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, negativity. Let go of the pessimistic attitude. It's getting old. Think of something positive right now. Shift your thinking. I mean, this could be in regards to your work life here too. This could be just in regards to you. Uh, because I feel like, you know, someone here has a really great life and I just feel like someone here maybe feels like, you know, that uh, someone here feels like it's not meant to uh, last or something like that. Okay, so I feel like there's a sense of control here too, instead of enjoying what's in the moment. Because it's, I'm feeling like an energy, things are going really, really well, Aries, okay? What else do we have for Aries uh, regarding this new, uh, not new, full moon in Cancer occurring in, um, on uh, January 17th, 2022? 
So I'm just learning the ruins. So I'm just, yeah, I got, I got a deck that has all the keywords, but hopefully eventually I will, you know, I'll, I'll know them by heart or something like that. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. You see, I feel like your career is going really great. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You might have those energies in your chart. Could be dealing with any of those energy, past, present, future here. I have a ton of cups. Look at that. Wow. You know, Aries, I feel like a lot... If, if you guys are single, I feel like a lot of you guys... I mean, you guys live a very comfortable life right now. Yeah, there's just a lot of good things going uh, happening in your life. You know, there could be new love that's coming your way too. Those of you guys that are single and, and not paired up. But those of you guys that are paired up, things are going really, really great. Let's see what else we have here. With the hangman and justice. You know, I just feel like things are really, really, really balanced here. I do feel like things are going really, really well for you, Aries. What else do we have here? We have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You know, I do feel like you're in this energy of really, like, looking at the d details and stuff like that. Um, I feel like you're being very highly critical of yourself, even though things are going so well. Uh, because whatever this is, I feel like you're getting a lot of attention regarding your success here. Uh, Queen of Pentacles. We have the full Aries energy, Aquarius energy. Tell me about this uh, Knight of Pentacles. Could be dealing with another Aries here. Knight of Pentacles. One of the four Pentacles here. This is really interesting. It's good to save money, but I feel like it's also important to enjoy, too. You know, whatever you're feeling, I feel like it might be affecting others around you here, too. Because of the negative, uh, the, uh, negative way that you're thinking, perhaps. Keep in mind, Aries, this could be you. This could be someone else that you're dealing with here, okay? Uh, so just apply this to your own unique situation. Maybe that this, this is uh, someone that you know that's going through this. We have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You know, I feel like there's also new love coming towards you, too. I feel like it's time to change your way of thinking. I just feel like you're highly critical of yourself. Yeah, even though you, you have all the success in life, even though things are really easy for you right now, I just feel like you're really not, perhaps you're not really enjoying it and you're overthinking it. Uh, the hangman. That's too good. Hold on one sec. All right, the hangman. We have the uh, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is your energy right here. Could be dealing with another Aries, like I said, or a Leo or Sagittarius. Tell me about Justice. And the Nine of Swords. You know, I feel like you're, you know, I feel like the demanding thing is not really asking um, others, but more so asking yourself. I, I, yeah, I'm just feeling like there's this highly critical energy. So, you know, I feel like this is a time uh, during this uh, full moon is to really maybe let go of some of the uh, past issues that you've been dealing with here. Perhaps since you were dealing with as uh, when you were a child here. Um, I do feel like there might be some sort of childhood issues that keeps you um, stuck, um, perhaps depressed and ruminating over it, uh, thinking negatively about it. Tell me about the fool. Or the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Uh, we have a true pair here, by the way. So I feel like you might have met somebody, perhaps a soulmate here. I do feel like there's new love. There's potential for uh, long-term happiness here. Um, I'm feeling like you're more so this queen here, okay, Aries? But you can switch the roles if you want. Well, whoever you're meeting here, this is a very intellectual uh, person. An individual who's very smart, Perhaps this person works in um, law enforcement or the court of law or something like that. Someone who is very lawyery. 
um, someone who, who speaks very well. Um, whoever this person is, this person is always a step of, uh, a step ahead because this person is always thinking. Okay. Uh, four, oh, what am I doing here? Tell me about the four of pentacles. All right. We have the four of wands. Wow. Aries, things are going really great. I mean, like I said, you could think negatively uh, because, may, you know, maybe you feel like things are, that there could be some insecurities that you haven't really faced yet or dealt with. Uh, King of Swords. The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, like I said, you could be dealing with another Aries, Leo. Or Sagittarius, I feel like you do have new love coming towards you. Whoever this person is, this person is incredibly fun, adventurous, spontaneous. Um, this person's very intellectual, has really great comedy. Like, you could have very great conversation with this individual. I do feel like this person is very successful in their career, just like you. Um, I do feel like this person might be their own boss or something like that. Uh, Ace of Cups. Ace of Swords. This is looking pretty good. Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? And the Four of Cups. You know, there's this energy of feeling like things could be better. Absolutely, but, you know, just to the... Uh, you know, just the way you think, you're creating your inner world in a way that you're perpetuating negativity, even though things are going really great. Nine of Swords and the Five of Swords, I feel like you're really in your head about this. I mean, things are going really, really great. It's actually keeping you stuck. So it's like, I feel like you're, oh, you know what's keeping you stuck? Yeah, like I said, there's something in your past here that you really haven't let go yet. Something that disappointed you, perhaps, you know, a past relationship, something from your childhood, something that you haven't really moved on from that keeps you in this sort of like negative way of thinking. So I feel like things are going really well. Like I said, you know, I feel like, you know, there needs to be shift in your thinking here. I mean, from what I could tell, things are going really, really great here. It's like, you know, things are going great, but you're not really experiencing the joy uh, of it or living in the moment. Okay. Yeah, shine, cool your, cool your emotions here. So I feel like there needs to be some sort of honesty, speaking the truth here. Just, you know, taking a step back and just enjoying, you know, whatever you have, um, that you have succeeded here in life. So uh, Aries, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.